Hello and welcome to CCSP Lab. This is copying a system image from a TFTP server to the local flash. Uh, the first step is to verify what the current version is. In this case, we'll do a dir flash or show flash. And we'll see what we have in our flash. Uh, I've already previously upgraded this image. Um, to the ASA. So this is what's existing on our flash, but I'm just going to show you very briefly uh, the way I got to that point. So the next thing you want to do is confirm what the boot parameter is currently. The ASAs for the most part ship with uh, version 7 or 724 is what I've seen more recently. So the way you check the current version, and again this ASA has already been uploaded but I didn't want to roll back and I just wanted to go over very quickly how it's done so I'm gonna do show run boot which will show me the current boot parameter and the next time I reload the ASA this is the image that's gonna load what I want to do first is step one copy TFTP flash going to ask me the address name of the remote host, the address or the name. My TFTP server is 192.168.1.11. And the image that I want to upload is going to be this one. And again, this is already here. I'm going to get an error message very shortly here since it's already. Um, as you can see, it's going to tell me that there's a file already in flash uh, so I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll start it up once I'm done okay so now that the image is done uploading what I'm gonna do is show flash and confirm and I'm going to update the boot parameter and the way I do that is I showed you before what the current boot parameter is. If you have a boot parameter, say you've taken over another ASA and you're uploading it or you're upgrading it, what you want to do is you want to remove this line, whatever it is. It could be 724, 702. You'll remove that line and you'll replace it with, you're going to replace it with what you currently want to use as your boot parameter. So in this case it's going to be 822. And once I've confirmed what my boot parameter is, we're going to copy the running config to NVRAM by going to copy run start or I don't ever use copy run start, I use write mem. After you've done that, you have to reload. This is going to take a little bit, so I'll pause the video here and I'll be back to confirm what my current system image is. Okay, we're back. So what I want to do is I want to confirm the version of my ASA current image that I'm running and I can do that by going to show version and here goes the current Cisco adaptive security appliance software version 8.2 Thank you for joining me and enjoy your day.